Hey all, my name is Paul Broski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I'd like to do today is to introduce y'all to the Beginner's Guide to Financial Analysis for Starbucks 2022. So the way the video is going to play out is first and foremost going to go ahead and give you all a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do, and why I do it. After that, I'll then go ahead and introduce you all to the three important components of the Beginner's Guide, which is the Income Statement Summary and Explanation, the Balance Sheet Summary and Explanation, and then I'll end up with the financial ratios and I'll show you how I tackle those in the beginner's guide. At the end of the video, if you all are per interested in purchasing my beginner's guide, I will also provide you all with the link. And the link is right here is where you can purchase the beginner's guide. And I'll also give you the link at the end of the video. All right, so as promised, a little bit about me. Again, Paul Borowski, MBA, doctoral candidate. I have been publishing company financial reports as well as company um, beginner's guides for the last five years or so. And the um, beginner's guide, I analyze about 15 to 25 different public companies. I'll do the beginner's guides, and um, for the most part, I'll also do the financial reports. Um, I'm also the po I'm author of the Beginner's Guide to Understanding Financial Statements and Financial Ratios. I published that on Amazon.com, so you can find it there. And then finally, I'm an adjunct professor and subject matter expert in finance. I've been teaching at a local college for about 9 to 10 years, so I do have some education experience as well as some real-world teaching experience at the college level in um, this subject matter. All right, enough about me. Let's talk about the star of the show, which is Starbucks 2022, The Beginner's Guide. And so, like I said earlier, in The Beginner's Guide, I break it into three components, which is uh, the analysis of the, or the introduction of the income statement, the introduction of the balance sheet, and then the financial ratios. So for the um for the income statement for Starbucks, what I'll do for this section, I'll introduce I'll introduce that section. I'll start off that section with a summarized income statement. So here is the actual income statement that's found in the the beginner's guide. I'll cover a um I'll summarize the information, pl plug it into my financial model, and I cover this information for the last five years. Next, what I'll do is I'll identify important line items. Don't go through all the line items in the balance sheet, but I'll identify important line items in the, the income statement. And I'll explain what that line item means. For example, revenues. I'll explain to you what revenues means. I'll give you a definition of the actual line item, such as revenues. I'll give you, you, you then, in other words, I'll explain that line item in layman's terms. And then finally, I'll provide you all with analysis tips as to what to look for when analyzing that specific line item. Next, what I'll do in the balance, um, the next section is the summarized balance sheet. So again, I'll start off that section with the actual balance sheet summarized for the last five years. And here is a sample of what's included in the beginner's guide for Starbucks. I'll follow the same process as the income statement. I will go ahead and identify important line items in the balance sheet. For example, for cash, I'll explain what cash means. I'll give it to you in other words, and I'll explain it to you in layman's terms, that line item. And then I'll give you some analysis tips as to what to look for when reviewing and analyzing that line item. Now for financial ratios, I take a little bit different of a struct, um, approach to analyzing the financial ratios. Uh, for example, what I'll do for the financial ratios is I break them up into diff four different categories, liquidity ratios, asset ratios, profitability ratios, and then debt ratios. Once I'm done with that, in the, the beginner's guide, I will then drill down on each one of those categories. For example, liquidity ratios, I'll tell you which ratios that I calculated, current ratio, cash ratio, quick ratio, network, and capital, and then I'll give you the formula that I use for each one of those ratios. Also, in the summary section, I will show you a summary result of each one of the ratios calculated. And then I go even further and I'll identify important ratios from each one of the categories and I'll define it. I'll give you the formula again. I'll give you to in layman's terms, explain what that financial ratio means. And then I'll give you some analysis tips as to what to look for and use when analyzing that specific ratio. And then finally, I'll end the, that section with an um, in-depth explanation as to how that ratio was calculated. For example, current ratio, 
Um, the current ratio is calculated with the current assets divided by current liabilities equals current ratio. I'll show you the numbers that I've used in the calculation, and then I'll also show you the results. So hopefully this information is helpful, and if this is going to help y'all with analyzing Starbucks 2022, check out my guide at this link right here, and it is available for purchase and download. Hopefully it was help. This video was helpful, and I go out and have a great day. Thank you.